वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम शीतल महादेव टुडे वी विल स्टडी एन इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर ऑफ सेवन स्टैंडर्ड जोग्राफी इंडिया इज अ लैंड ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी एंड दिस डाइवर्सिटी कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन इन इट्स सीजन सीजन इज अ ट्रेडिशनल डिविजन ऑफ द इयर बेस्ड ऑन यूनिक वेदर कंडीशन सो स्टूडेंट्स Let's learn about what are the reasons behind the formation of seasons from the first lesson that is how seasons occur part 1 Learning objectives are factors responsible for the formation of seasons to give detailed information about seasons in India to explain the effect of various seasons on living organisms Now let's start the lesson how seasons occur part 1 introduction we know that the planet on which we live is known as the earth the earth spins around its own axis is called rotation and it revolves around the sun is known as revolution we have been learning that the earth takes 24 hours to rotate around itself and 365 days to revolve around the sun let's recall few questions that we already studied in the previous year how do day and night occur on the earth day and night occur due to rotation or axial motion of the earth on its axis what term is used to describe the earth's revolution around the sun The earth revolves or moves around the sun is called revolution. The term orbital motion is used to describe the earth's revolution around the sun. Another question is how long does the earth take to do so? The earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution. In which hemispheres is our country located? To determine this, we need a world map. India is shown in the circle. With the help of this map, we can clearly say that India is located in the northern and eastern hemisphere. The next question is, why don't the sun rays fall perpendicular at all the places on the earth? There are two reasons behind this. The earth's axis is tilted and making an angle of 23.5 degrees. The another reason is the curvature of the earth. The curvature means the circular shape of the earth. Because of these two reasons, the sun rays does not fall perpendicular at all the places on the earth. Geographical explanation. It takes 24 hours for the earth to rotate around itself it rotates around itself from west to east during a single day we experience different stages like sunrise midday sunset as well as daytime and nighttime to understand the changes in locations of sunrise and sunset on horizon let us carry the following activity This activity is taken from the Study Cloud app which is available on YouTube channel. Try this. Paste a large white paper on one side of the table. Place a torch in front of the table in such a way that it wouldn't move. Stand a rod or a candle between the white paper and the torch. Direct the light beam of the torch in such a way that the shadow of the rod or candle falls on the paper. Mark the position of the shadow on the paper. Move the table along with the rod or candle from one side to the other slowly. Observe and mark the position of the shadow that falls on the paper. Note the change in the location of the shadow. From this activity we can understand that as the position of the table changes the position of the shadow also changes 
If the positions of the sunrise and the sunset on the horizon are observed for the whole year, you will realize that they keep on changing. Let us try to understand the reason behind this with the help of the next activity. This activity is taken from the Study Cloud app which is available on YouTube channel. Try this. Take a thick stick about 1.5 to 1.7 meter long. Keeping some distance, fix the stick near a wall that receives sunlight at the time of sunrise or sunset throughout the year. Remember that the stick has to be fixed at this spot for a period of about one year. After the observation, mark the position of the shadow for that date. If the position of the shadow changes, measure and note the distance between the earlier and the changed position. During the period of this activity, observe the place of sunrise and the sunset on the horizon as well. We all know that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. You would realize through your observations in the last activity that the place where the sun rises keeps on changing every day. In fact, the sun remains in the same place. It is the earth with its inclined axis that revolves around the sun. That is why, looking from the earth, it appears that the sun is moving either to the north or the south. The combined effect of the inclination of the earth's axis and the orbital motion of the earth causes seasons. From these activities, we learn that seasons change throughout the year because of the way the earth moves. The earth revolves around the sun. As it revolves, it spins on its own axis too. Imagine there was a straight pole that went through the center of the earth from the north pole to the south pole. This is the earth's axis. But students, the earth's axis doesn't go straight up and down. The earth actually tilts to the side making an angle of 23.5 degrees. So as it rotates around the sun, half of the earth is leaning towards the sun and half is leaning away. Earth's orbit, its rotation on its axis and its tilt are all the reasons for the formation of seasons. Seasons in India Traditionally, India has six seasons namely summer, spring, monsoon, autumn, winter and prevernal season. They are divided among the 12 months of a calendar with each season having a span of exactly two months. The India Meteorological Department or IMD designated four climatological seasons. Winter season Winter in India fall between December to February. The temperature during this season ranges from 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. In the northern regions of the country, snowfall also happens along with rain. The coldest months in India are December and January. The nights are longer than the days during winter in India. Winter is enjoyed by people because of the cool and chilly weather. In the hilly areas, they also have snowfall which allows them to enjoy various sports like snowboarding, ice skating and many more. The Summer Season The summer season starts in March and ends around the month of June. As India is a tropical country, the summer is a bit harsh in some of its regions. Moreover, the highest temperatures recorded in India till date during summer is 51 degrees Celsius in the state of Rajasthan. The temperature actually remains around 30 to 40 degrees Celsius during summers. Furthermore, the days are usually longer than nights during this season. During summers, kids are the most excited. They like summers because they get to have ice creams and cold drinks. They get a month-long vacation break which means more time to play and visit new places. Summer camps 
are also held in various schools to encourage kids and enhance their skills then comes the season of monsoon which begins in june or july and stretches till september the majority of precipitation or rainfall that take place is due to the southwest monsoons these monsoon originate in the bay of bengal and the arabian sea monsoons in india witness a heavy downpour which often results in floods in many regions the farmer enjoy monsoon for their crops gets an adequate supply of water children loves playing in rain and making paper boats monsoon rains begin to recede from north india at the beginning of october south india typically receives more rainfall post monsoon or autumn season this season lasting from october to november in the northwest of india october and november are usually cloudless this season is the most loved season by people of india because the climate remains very calm and cool during this season it is not too hot not too cold and that is why people love to wander around various places during this season in short each season is special in its own way indians are lucky to experience so many seasons as not all the countries get the opportunity to enjoy such varied seasons seasonal effects seasonal changes in precipitation and temperature affect soil moisture evaporation rates river flows lake levels and snow cover leaves fall and plants wither as cold and dry seasons approach in temperate and polar regions the seasons are marked by changes in the intensity of sunlight that reaches the earth's surface variations of sunlight may cause animals to undergo hibernation some animals and birds migrate and plants to be dormant hibernation is a state of inactivity hibernation is a seasonal condition of animals because of low body temperature slow breathing and heart rate and low metabolic rate it most commonly occurs during winter months animals which undergo hibernation are frogs bats turtle bear etc migration migration is a large scale movement of members of species to a different environment migration is a natural behavior and component of life cycle of many species of living organisms migration is often cyclical frequently occurring on a seasonal basis species migrate to take advantage of more favorable conditions with the respect to food safety from predators and other environmental factors in gardening the term dormancy refers to the plant state of temporary metabolic inactivity or minimal activity during dormancy plants stop growing and conserve energy until better conditions present themselves this happens naturally as seasons and weather changes animals have many adaptations which allow them to survive in their habitats some animals blending into the environment either by coloring or by shape it is known as camouflage it helps animals to hide from their predators or to seek up their prey frogs turtles walking sticks praying mantises and grasshoppers are all the examples that blend into their environment sometimes animals adaptations are triggered by weather and seasonal changes in short during the spring the warm weather and plentiful food supplies encourages growth of both plants and animals this growth continues throughout the summer during the fall the weather cools the amount of sunlight decreases and food becomes scarce some plants become dormant and some animals undergo changes to prepare for the winter some animals collect food to store during winter months and other hibernate 
माइग्रेट और ग्रो थी कर फर सीजन्स आर स्पैंस ऑफ मंथ्स ऑफ पर्टिक्युलर वेदर कंडीशंस कॉज एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ द अर्थ रिवॉल्यूशन एंड रोटेशन ऑन इट्स एक्सिस इंक्लाइन टू द प्लेन ऑफ रिवॉल्यूशन सीजन्स डिटरमाइन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ डे एंड नाइट टेम्परेचर्स एंड प्रेसिपिटेशन दीज एफेक्ट द क्लाइमेट ऑफ अ प्लेस एंड ह्यूमन बींग्स हैव टू एकोमोडेट देर लिविंग कंडीशन टू सर्वाइव द चेंजेस दैट ऑकर ड्यू टू द चेंजेस इन सीजन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ह्यूमन बींग्स चेंजेस देयर फूड हैबिट्स क्लोथिंग ऑक्यूपेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू द चेंजेस इन सीजन so students let's have a recap of what we learned today the tilted axis of the earth the rotation of the earth around its axis and revolution of the earth around the sun are all the reasons for the formation of seasons variety of seasons in india effect of different seasons on living organisms at the end of our session i am giving you one assignment there are few questions in the assignment students read the lesson thoroughly and write the answers of these questions in your notebook i hope you enjoy this session thank you to online source which has helped me to make this session more interesting thank you